Hey Matt, I've been watching CNBC lately and I've been hearing a lot about this thing called the fix. What the heck is it? Th they talk about it all the time. Okay, so what is it? The VIX is the Chicago Board of Exchange Volatility Index. Well, that doesn't really do any good. Can you explain more? Sure. Um, it tracks volatility. Let me put it really simply. Uh, take a look at this graph here. See, this graph shows that it goes up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. That, the up and down motion of the stock market, that's volatility. Still lost. Can you keep explaining? Alright, alright. So the VIX itself, okay, look. The easiest way to do it is to go to this article on Wikipedia. All you gotta type in is the VIX, or you could type in uh, volatility index and you'll get to the same article. Then if you go down, uh, it actually gets really detailed all the way to the actual math calculations that they use to calculate it. But that's probably a little much. So let's just say this. They take a weighted average of all of the out-of-the-money options on both calls and puts, and on days that the stock market goes up, people buy a lot of calls, and the volatility index declines. On market days when it goes down, the people buy a lot of puts, and the put buying pushes the level, or whatever you want to say, of the VIX higher. Alright, I'm starting to get it. Keep going. Okay, uh, well let's take a look at a little demonstration. So, if you uh, take a look at, well, let's make it so that you can see it a little better. So here I have a blender, and we're going to make it so that you can see what's in there, right? Okay, so now that everybody can see it at home, let's imagine a typical day in the market. So, on most days, the market moves, right? But it's kind of calm. And on some days, the market gets a little bit more excited. And on days when the market's really down, it gets really excited. But this kind of motion of the rising and falling of the stock markets, that's volatility. So this is what volatility actually looks like. How does that help? I mean, it's a good graphic, but can you do a little more to show me? Okay, so let me show you what the volatility index feels like. Let's take a day where the Dow is down, say today, like 200. See, volatility actually feels like this. Okay, so on days when the market goes down 200 points, the volatility index explodes and it skyrockets. In fact, uh, do you have that computer that we were using? I think I can help you out. Yeah, let me grab it. Sure. Okay, so now that we know what the volatility index feels like, we know that the stock market, when the stock market crashes or goes down violently in one day, the volatility index goes up. So let's take a look. This is the S&P over the last four days, everything excluding today. So here the blue line is the stock market going up, and as the stock market goes up, like I said, the volatility index or the VIX goes down. They offer they op operate opposite of each other. Now let's take a look at what happens when you look at the volatility index on the day when the market goes down dramatically. Okay, here. Hopefully this helps. The stock market is down 2% on the day. The volatility index soared and the volatility index is actually up over 7% in one day. So if we take a look at the last five days, you can see that anytime the market's up, volatility is down. Market goes down, volatility goes up, market goes up, right? And then boom, there's today the a huge divergence in the VIX soars when the market goes down. Does that help it? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And what do you do with it? Okay, so do you remember earlier when we were at the ATM talking about ETNs? Yeah, I remember that. Okay, so we were talking about how to own volatility. If you actually look up the VXX, the VXX is the ETN that actually tracks volatility. So how you would use it is you would, let's say the market goes up and up and up and up. Well, it can't go up forever. It's eventually going to pull back. So you get long, the VXX, on days when the market's just soaring, especially if you get, say, a week or 10 days in a row where the market goes straight up, you buy the volatility index, the 
VXX when it gets cheap. And then on days like today, when the market crashes, you actually have something green on your screen. It's a hedge. Oh, so it protects you against the market. Yeah, yeah, that's a good basic way to think about it. Volatility goes up when the markets go down. So in order to protect yourself, 